Hi, welcome back to 101 Things. This time I'm going to build a retro style arcade game. It's something I've never done before, but I thought it'd be fun to give it a try. My goal for the project was to build a simple game, just using parts I already had in my junk box. The basis of the project is a Pi Pico. You can use a Pi Pico or a Pi Pico 2, it doesn't matter for this project. I'm not using any Wi Fi capabilities for this project, but if you have a Pico W or a Pico 2W, they'll work just fine too. The hardware for this project is really simple. It's something you could build in an afternoon using a breadboard. I've paired the Pi Pico with a cheap TFT display. That's a nice sweet spot for the Pi Pico. At this resolution, you can build a full frame buffer using just 150 kilobytes of memory. That fits nicely inside the Pi Pico, gives us plenty of room spare for the program. The RP2040 has a maximum SPI speed of 62.5 MHz. This means we can easily achieve a frame rate of 20 Hz giving us nice smooth animations. You can run the SP2040 at 200 MHz with no problems, but for this project it's much better to run it at 125. Overclocking the RP2040 actually limits the maximum SPI speed and makes this game run slower. For the audio output I'm using a simple PWM based audio DAC. I'm using this to drive a passive piezo buzzer. I'm driving the buzzer with a differential signal. This means I can get a bit more volume just using the I.O. pins and also avoids the need to have any kind of DC blocking component which makes the circuit much simpler. I've used four buttons to control the game. If you followed my previous projects this circuit might look quite familiar. I've borrowed quite a few elements from earlier projects and you can even run this game on the SSTV decoder. The Pi Pico is really easy to run from batteries. The data sheet shows a few different methods. The simplest method is just to connect a battery to VSYS through a diode. I've written all the code in C++ and the top level is a sketch for the Arduino IDE. I'm using the Arduino Pico Core by Earl Philhauer. This is the easiest way to get a development platform for the Raspberry Pi Pico setup. The core includes the full SDK and you can get up and running in just a few minutes. For the graphics, I've reused the frame buffer from the Pico Planetarium. It allows you to draw text, graphics primitives like lines and squares, or even images to a buffer stored in RAM. The game sprites are images stored in flash. They get transferred to the frame buffer every frame. At the end of each frame, the frame buffer is transferred to the display. For the audio, I've made a simple synthesizer. This is very similar to the programmable sound generators used in retro computers. It can generate tones using sine waves, square waves or triangular waves. These are shaped using a simple envelope generator. There's also a noise generator to simulate explosions and percussive sounds. The circuit's simple enough that it can easily be built on a breadboard. This is a good place to start if you want to make sure the circuit works before committing to a more permanent construction. Once you're happy it's all working, you can build something more permanent. I've based mine on a 3D printed enclosure that I've used in previous designs. Let's take a look at the build process.
Okay, so there you have it. We've built a retro style arcade game just using parts we had lying around. If you're thinking of getting into electronics or software, this might be a really good project to start with. If you've tried some simple demos and you know how to blink an LED or read from a switch, this might be a great next step. All the code's available if you want to play around and customize it. You could try adding a joystick, changing the graphics, or maybe use different themes. If you've enjoyed this project and you'd like to see more, why not subscribe? I've got loads more ideas I'd like to share. If retro gaming isn't your thing and you prefer the radio projects, keep your eye out for some projects I've got coming in the new year. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.